Hi guys, my name is Jin. Today, we are going to be learning about Strategic Alliance. So what exactly is Strategic Alliance? Well, to sum it up, it is a collaboration between two parties with similar goals that will benefit both of them. In a Strategic Alliance, Company A and Company B will contribute necessary resources like transportation, capital, property, skills, etc. so that Alliance can work out and both parties can reach. Now that you know what a strategic alliance is, we are going to dig into these three topics for today. First up, we have the advantages. The benefits of strategic alliance are as follows. Access to target market, opportunity for growth, knowledge and idea sharing, and last but not least, economies of scale. Sharing of knowledge and resources can make strategic alliances attractive. Knowledge can include things such like products, skills, funding, or property. Sharing resources can increase the value of both partners as it increases. There's a limit on how much a company can grow, but with the aid of an external company's expertise and knowledge, the business can expand further. Companies have a higher chance to penetrate into newer markets as they have access to established marketing and distribution systems and knowledge of the markets that their partner is in, ensuring that products get to the market faster. Economies of scale refer to costs and advantages reaped by companies when production becomes efficient. Business can save costs as they share resources. Smaller companies benefit from alliances, allowing them to compete against larger competitors. Now, let's hop on to the disadvantages. The downsides of strategic alliances are commitment issues, failing to use resources effectively, and last but not least, unbalanced responsibilities. Commitment issues arise when one party stops pushing effort into the collaboration, which may result in a conflict. Failing to use resources properly can result in the failure of the collaboration and this wastes each party's time, resources, and effort put in. It might even cause a loss for the parties involved. Unbalanced responsibilities occur when one party has a lighter load to carry while the other has a heavy load. This will make one party feel unhappy as the other party might not be putting enough effort into the partnership but still reach the same. Now, let's hop on to our last segment, a real life example. One successful case is that of Starbucks and Barnes and Noble. Starbucks and Barnes and Nobles felt like coffee and books go well. So Barnes and Nobles agreed on letting Starbucks open in its stores, and this allowed customers from both stores to interact with the space. Customers shopping for books can take a short break in Starbucks, or Starbucks customers can read a book while sipping their coffee. This in turn drove sales for both car companies, gaining them more food traffic and eventually gaining more profit. Now that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching this lesson, and see you on the next one.